So today I'm gonna to show you how to open up a Square account as well as get your free credit card reader so that way as a small business, you can start earning some more money. Now, as we go through this, I'm gonna show you everything step by step in real time here on desktop. It'll be very similar if you go through the mobile version as well. And I'll actually have a link for you in the show notes down below to be able to go through the sign up process. That does actually support me and my small business to get you more free content just like this. But the cool thing is you get your free credit card reader as well as sometimes they also have some other bonuses like up to a certain amount of transactions for free that doesn't cost you anything. Here we are on the main page of Square. Um, this is gonna be the page you get to when you click on there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and click on where it says get free reader. So when we click on here, it is gonna go ahead and take us to the next page. And it's gonna ask us for some important information. It's gonna ask for your email and a password that you wanna create. Uh, so make sure you go ahead and fill that out as well as making sure that you agree to their terms and policy by clicking this box right over here. And once we do that, we're gonna click on continue and get to the next step. So from here, you get a nice little welcome to Square page, and then we're gonna go ahead and click on continue to the next step. So here it's gonna ask what type of merchant best describes you. You can be an individual, which is one person, sole proprietor, side project, or casual use, or you can be a business with an LLC, uh, S Corp, or even partnership or corporation, uh, whichever option works best for you. I believe you can switch this out later down the road, so don't fear if you go with the individual and then switch later to an LLC. You might be able to do that, I believe. So we're gonna go ahead and click on individual for this example, and then we're gonna go ahead and enter this information. Now, if you clicked on business, it will ask you different questions, just a little bit, but most of this will be, again, all the same as we go through the steps. So if we went with the individual as a sole proprietor, it's gonna ask us what name you'd like to appear on the customer's receipts. We just put in the business nerd because that's the name of this YouTube channel. And then we'll click on continue. Again, that's something you can have changed later. So next up here is what type of business do you run? Um, it'll give you a couple different options. You can also type it in as well if you would like to. We're gonna do consulting for this example here and then we're gonna click on continue. And here it's gonna ask where will you sell brick and mortar on the go at events through a Square online site if you wanted to, uh, through pay links and buy buttons or through sent invoices. So whichever options work best for you, we're gonna go ahead and click on that. So here it says, what else can we help uh, you manage? And if there's different options like payroll, gift cards, loyalty programs, you can do any of these if you want to, or you can check the box here towards the bottom um, and then add these in later if you wanted to upgrade and improve your business as time goes on. So it says almost there. It says next, we're going to verify your identity so you can accept payments. Uh, please use your legal name and home address even if you're signing up as a business. So just something to keep in mind um, as we go through this, we're gonna click on continue. And here it's gonna ask for that legal first and last name, your home address, and it will ask for your date of birth and last four of your social so that way they can uh, pass information down to the IRS. So make sure you're putting in the proper information. So this next question says, where is your business? So you'll go ahead and click on the option that works best for you and go ahead and continue. So next up here, it says set up your deposits. It says select a deposit schedule and link your account uh, to begin receiving funds from your sales. You'll need your bank account and routing number for this step. So we'll click on continue or you can skip this next step if maybe you don't have a business account completely set up yet. But if you do, I would encourage continuing on to this next step. So the next question says, how fast do you want to get paid? You can do next uh, day deposit, which is free, or you can even do same day deposit, but keep in mind that they will take an additional 1.5% of each deposit. So that can cost you a little bit more, but of course that means the money is coming into your account as quickly as possible. So click whichever option works best for you and we'll click on continue. So from right over here, it is going to ask for your bank account. Ideally, if this is going to be that business bank account that you have, which if you don't have have a business account, I'll have a link to Novo, which is the account I love to use as a small business owner, as well as I'll link it up at the end of this video so you can learn more about uh, the Novo business bank account. But go ahead and plug in the information that you have here and then click on continue. You can also skip this for now, but again, encourage you to have this set up as soon as possible is the best route to take. So next up here, it's gonna say, choose your square reader. It says all that's left to do is choose a square reader to start taking cards. We're gonna go ahead and click on continue. You can technically skip, but I would encourage again to hit on continue. So from here, you're gonna be able to choose which option you want. Like I mentioned earlier, for using the link, you're gonna be able to get a square reader for Mac strips entirely for free. It shows normally $10, but as you can see here, you're gonna get one for free with the Mac strips. So this option right over here on the right-hand side, you're gonna see it has the option to plug in into either a headphone jack or an iPhone uh, charge port. So that way you can slide the cards and read through the Mac strip. Or if you wanted to pay a little extra, you can actually have the contactless one, which is the chip reader, as well as um, the Apple Pay or Google Wallet uh, Pay as well. So you can choose to go that route and pay a little bit more, or you can get the free option with the Mag Strip as well. So we're gonna click on continue after you choose which option works best for you. 
but you can also skip to if you needed. So from this section, if you chose to go with the free option when it comes to getting your Mac strip reader, you can choose to do the lightning connector, which is of course exclusively for iPhones, or you can do the audio jack uh, plugin, which is gonna go into an audio jack. So make sure your phone is capable of one or the other. So that way you can go ahead and order that. And once you do, you can click on continue. So once you chose your option, it's gonna take you to a place here to go ahead and complete your purchase. Now it does show you the area you're gonna be shipping it to and then plugging in your card information. Now I've actually used an account before, so I don't think it's letting me get my free reader right over here, but normally it should show you free entirely as far as cost. Um, I mean, worst case scenario, it's 10 bucks, but once everything looks good, you can go ahead and click on place order. So that way you can have one shipped directly to you as soon as possible. It does say, I believe uh, five to seven business days uh, for that reader to go ahead and show up at your door. Once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next page. So once you went through the process of ordering your credit card reader, it's gonna send you a confirmation about it. And then it's gonna take you to your home page of Square that's gonna look very similar to this, which will then walk you through a couple different steps to learn more about it. And then you are pretty much off to the races. Of course, there's a few more pieces of information you gotta fill out, like activating your account to take payments, setting up a few more pieces of information, as well as maybe even setting up invoices so you can start sending those out to clients and customers to start earning that income. Now, there's a lot more to learn when it comes to Square, but once you get your account up and running, you can start earning that income. But like I mentioned, I will have a link for them in the show notes down below so you can go ahead and get started right away and also get you a nice little bonus for using our link and supporting this channel so you get more free content just like this. Which, speaking of, I mentioned earlier, if you want to check out Novo as a small business bank account, I personally highly recommend them. I think they're the best. I actually use them for multiple different businesses. So check out my video right over here to learn all about them. My name is Dennis, and I'll see you in that next video.